Tonight in RCV TV, we're going to be talking about Ohm's Law. Alright, so in this video it's going to be a little bit different uh, and that's because we're going to be showing up a lot of uh, examples and pictures and stuff on the screen so you guys won't be seeing much of my face so I'll uh, see you guys at the end. Alright, so let's begin. What is Ohm's Law? Ohm's Law is the relationship between volts, amps, and resistance. Now, mathematically speaking, Ohm's Law is amps equals voltage divided by resistance. To define each of these, volts would be defined as the difference in charge between two points, amps defined as the rate at which charge is flowing, and resistance defined as the material's tendency to resist the flow of the charge. Now, as well as volts, resistance, and amps, there is one more unit that can be derived from Ohm's Law. That would be wattage. Wattage is basically the overall power created from a circuit. Uh, we will talk a little bit more about wattage uh, slash watts later uh, on in the video. Now to make this a little bit more simpler for you guys to understand, we're going to be breaking this down into analogy. We're going to be using a waterfall for ours. So voltage would be the height of the waterfall. The higher the fall, the more potential energy the water would have. Amps would be the amount of water going over the edge at any given moment. Resistance would be the opening at the top or other obstacles slowing the flow of the water. Now, wattage would be the overall amount of water that you get at the end every second. So that's basically it for the waterfall analogy. If that didn't make sense, definitely do a quick search on Google or the internet. There's lots of other people out there describing analogies for Ohm's Law. Um, obviously Ohm's Law doesn't just specifically apply to vaping, so you can definitely look a lot of places for a lot of resources on it. All right, so moving forward, let's talk about how this actually applies to vaping. First and foremost, it's gonna be about battery safety. Uh, your battery has an amp limit. Your battery cannot exceed that amp limit without having a catastrophic failure of any type. Uh, we're going to touch a little bit more on battery safety later on in this video, uh, and as well as we do have it in a, another video on our channel. The second thing uh, would be finding your sweet spot between heat and vapor reduction. This would be more specific uh, to using a unregulated device um, versus a regulated device. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the two differences a little bit later on in this video. And lastly, your vape would not actually be able to function at all without Ohm's Law. Your whole vaping as a whole is Ohm's Law. Now I did say that wattage is something we're going to be covering a little bit later on in the video. Um, and that's what we're going to touch on upon right here. So wattage is power, like I said before basically the amount of water that you would be getting at the end of your waterfall example. Uh, watts is equal to amps times voltage. So for most devices uh, that are regulated, that would be a, a device with a screen on it. Um, that would allow you to adjust the wattage on it. And that is just because the device is constantly checking the resistance of your coil uh, and doing basically an Ohm's law calculation. For example, to find the wattage of a 1 ohm coil at 4.2 volts, we would first need to find our amps. To get amps, it is volts divided by resistance. So 4.2 divided by 1, which equals out to 4.2 amps. Now, to find our wattage, we use the numbers we had from before, as well as our new uh, our amps. Uh, we times amps by voltage. So 4.2 times 4.2 equals out to 17.64 watts. Uh, so that would be the wattage produced by that coil uh, at that voltage. To make life simpler for you guys, there's definitely applications out there that allow you to do Ohm's Law calculations without actually using uh, the equations themselves. Something like Steam Engine, which I'll have up on the screen right now, as well as you can use it on mobile devices like your Apple device or even your Android device. There's apps out there that are excellent for that kind of a thing. Now, the actual physical properties of Ohm's Law in vaping. Uh, like we said, there was the battery safety aspect of it. There's actually the aspect of kind of getting your sweet spots dialed in on a mechanical mod. Uh, but basically, when it's in vaping, the coil, which is 
your heating element of your device is what produces your vapor. So now the way it works is the energy that's lost going through X amount of resistance your coil itself uh, creates heat, uh, which basically vaporizes your e-flick. Now, you might assume that a higher resistance coil would produce more vapor, but it's actually, like I said, the wattage, the power, uh, that's actually gonna be producing more of that heat and vapor production that you get. It's what allows uh, more energy to flow through that coil. So, the last thing we're gonna be touch up on again here is battery safety and the difference between a regulated device and a unregulated device. Now, when it comes to battery safety, Ohm's law is your key to safety when using a unregulated device. And that is because if you have a coil on your unregulated device or mechanical mod without knowing the coil's resistance, you can very easily be drawing more amps than your battery can handle. And as I mentioned before, the battery can violently vent or explode. Now, for battery safety with a regulated device, it's not as big as a worry, and that's because the industry standard for batteries meets or exceeds uh, the max amps that most regulated devices devices can do, uh, as well as there's many safety and redundancies built into a regulated device. Uh, for any concerns or questions about actual, your batteries specifically pertaining to you, you're going to want to hit up your local vape shop, uh, hit them up, ask a couple questions. Now on a regulated device, uh, your voltage and your wattage are tied at the hip. As long as your coil does not actually change resistance of any type, whether you're changing tanks or changing coils, um, your wattage would go up as your voltage would go up. Your voltage would go down as your wattage would go down. On a unregulated device with the same coil in there, the only thing that's going to be affecting your wattage and your voltage is your battery itself. So if your battery is at 4.2, your wattage is gonna be based on your equation of your coil, your X coil with your voltage of 4.2. As you use an unregulated device, your battery life tends to drop. Uh, so your wattage would actually go down as you consistently use the device. So that's pretty much it that covers Ohm's Law. There's obviously a lot more to it if you want to get down at the exact equations between all the different parts, uh, between voltage, your resistance, and your amps. Uh, but beyond that, uh, I would recommend you guys check out battery safety video. Uh, if you haven't learned about battery safety, it is very, very important in any device as long as the battery is removable. Uh, beyond that, thanks for watching, and as always, subscribe to the channel, like the videos, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, and until next time, make smart choices.